What is up YouTube? Good morning. It's around 5.30. I'm here in Granada. I'm walking up to the beach. You can hear the roosters crowing. So I want to get to the beach for first light. I'll probably start throwing a topwater plug. See if maybe there's a snook or something a little bigger hanging on the rocks. Um, then I'm going to switch over to probably a spoon. I uh, have some bait. So we'll see if maybe that'll entice some big snapper. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that neat thing? Whoa. Look how cool that thing is. Big old moth. Look at that, bud. Fly. Whoa, that thing's trippy, dude. Well, that was pretty cool. So, this has been my daily commute here. For the last couple days oh big frog over there too jeez so much life out here i'll tell you what guys there's nothing like the caribbean um just has such a neat vibe to it it makes me wish i was a pirate okay sun's slowly coming up here still haven't had a bite Baby. Oh, here we go, baby. I'm in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. No clue what we got, but we're going to see. Hopefully, this drag holds up. Feels like a little jack or something. <laughs> Woo Whacked it. There he comes. Let's see what we got. Yeah, little Jack. <laughs> I'll take it. Pumped. Come on, baby. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's actually just a, a little blue runner. I thought I got my fill of them in, in the keys. Come on, baby. Okay, bye bye baby. Come on. I can hear him. Okay, bye bye baby. Thank you. There he goes. <laughs> All right, success. So it turns out that this hotel you see there that I keep buying up was actually just built by a group of Japanese investors. Uh, and this place was super, super uber rich. Uh, apparently to the tune of ten to $20,000 per night. Uh, and the smallest room was was a quote villa, uh, and I'm fairly certain I was getting sprayed with uh, pesticides. So luckily I didn't drop dead. I came home safe. But uh, place looked pretty neat, but um, not my kind of joint. Okay, so heading to this little point here, this little cove. It looks like it's got it's got some rocks and it's kind of deep around it too. So we'll try that. And again, hopefully we don't get... Ooh. Some sort of activity right there. See that? Right near my lure. Come on. Something there. I think it's just bait, but... Clearly there's something going on right there. Something pushing water right there. Oh! Look at all that bait. Whoa. Look at that. Well, there's certainly something going on right there. Wow, okay. There's like a little subsurface plug. Let's try that. A couple schools of bait fish. Let's try this. A little shadow wrap. That looks definitely some like something slender, like a little mullet or something. I saw some mullet in that marina we were at last night so maybe this will be the ticket here good morning yeah we just got one uh, blue runner so far nothing runner. No, nothing major right into where that action was
There we go. Woo hoo hoo! <laughs> First cast. This one's got a little pull. Yeah, you can see the mullet right there. Those are mullet. Oh, there we go. Nice jack. Thanks, bud. You too. Okay. Little horse eyed jack. First cast on that new lure. Okay, baby, I think you're gonna be okay. There she goes. All right. Super cool. Sitting a couple hundred yards from my hotel. <laughs> Catching some fish. A little shad wrap. Oh yeah, nailed it, absolutely nailed it, probably another jack, look at that rod bend, Woo -hoo -hoo. absolutely nailed it. So we switch back over to lures and bingo. Oh this is fun, this is super fun, this is just fun. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Look how neat looking this one is. Oh yeah, I'm foul hooked. That's why he was fighting so good. Basically got every single hook. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's get you out of here. Come on, you'll be alright. Get that one out. This one out. Very cool. Nah, we'll let him go. Yeah, we'll set him back, yeah. Foul hook, there he goes. And there's a big starfish right there. Super cool. So, morning one. Not too bad. So we had three fish, two blue runners, and a, I believe a horse eyed jack. Um, nothing stellar, but for a little travel rod and just some stuff I brought from home, I'll take it. It sure beats sleeping in and doing the typical go to breakfast thing with all the other tourists. So I'm pumped. I'm going to go regroup, get a coffee, and uh, like I said, I may run a kayak and see if I can't get out to that first little patch of rocks. See if there's something bigger out there. Maybe drop a bucktail down with, with some strip of bait. I wish I'd kept that blue runner, but I didn't. That was silly. But so. okay. So this is my craft here. <laughs> Let's see if I can successfully not fall in the water. Bait with me. Some lures. Travel rod. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, we are off. Now, not the sturdiest sucker here, and it seems to really want to spin. So, we will see how we do. Now, guys, yeah, this thing really wants to spin. I think it's missing a skag or something. I am not a kayak fisherman. By any stretch of the imagination. I uh, don't do this because it really hurts my back. But we'll see. So all you guys that are posting these videos on these kayaks. And you're out there for hours. I am super, super impressed. Because I don't think I could do it. I'm a boat guy. 
but I don't knock it. I absolutely will not knock it. So it looks like we got some patched rock right about there. There we go. So I'm just really hoping to get over some rocks. And if I can do that, I don't see why we can't have some fish. Okay, so the video doesn't really do it justice here, but you know, this wind was pretty gnarly and uh, the deeper I went, the more apparent it was that the wind was just prohibitive. Um, you know, I tried my best to stay over top of the reef and present my bait in a normal fashion. And, uh, you know, again, I was using cut bait, but I had to just scope out so much to stay in the strike zone that it was just not feasible and I just kept snagging the reef. So ultimately, I, I kind of had to call it a day, unfortunately. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, that was cool. Big needlefish. So here we are back on land, and it didn't take me long to at least find some sort of action. So the pattern was definitely not to be on the kayak. Yeah, I got a couple this morning. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. I was going to tell you if you put all the way down in the end. Right. Oh. All the way at those rocks? Yeah. yeah. How far out do you have to go? Not far, you just stand on the shore. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh very well, okay, That's thank you. Today. So, I walked all the way to the other end of the point. I found this little casting spot. Let's see if I can get to it without uh, dying here. Oh, I don't know, it's a little deep right there. Hmm. need to get to there that's right where I need to get to okay here we go Little stepping stone right there not the smartest thing ever but I've done this many times before and I don't think there's any lifeguards to come bother me which is pretty cool so we're gonna do it oh yeah no biggie man no biggie with the turbo. Oh yeah. On the rock. <laughs> now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking. Now. Plenty of structure. See a big old needlefish there. So what's really sad is the very point that I'm standing on, Alana and I walked just over top of the, the hill where the point lies to the other side to check out this other beach and lo and behold right at the top of the hill is uh the, you know these plans for this new uber hotel uh and it's gonna basically impinge right upon the point where i'm standing and i i would almost guarantee that this natural point and all this natural reef is probably going to be gone uh really sad you know you see this all the time but man it's just the world is shrinking guys really sad go there we go <laughs> look at that big old needlefish okay buddy now this is gonna be a little tricky because these guys are gnarly hey bud we'll get you off there you go baby good oh yeah he's all right <laughs> Woo. stoked let's see I want went up against it. Let's see here. There we go. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, look at this guy. Whoa. Super cool. That's there's a lizard fish. That is a lizard fish super cool look how neat looking he is yep i just caught one of these in florida not long ago now these things from what i know are pretty gnarly look at those teeth he's so pretty though wow let's get him off there he goes all right freaking lizard fish okay guys so as this last little frame ends 
I just want to say that Grenada was one of my favorite Caribbean islands. I've been to quite a few. It is tied for first with my other favorite, which I will remain nameless for now. Um, this place, Grenada, is absolutely beautiful. The people are so nice. Um, the sights, sounds, smells are unrivaled. Uh, it'll always hold a special place in my heart from here on out, and I will promise I'll be back. But look how pretty this beach is. I mean, can you get any better than that? But guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, share. You know, I'm trying to get this channel boosted a little bit here, and if I do, I'm going to try and give away a a free tuna trip to someone here as the thousand subscriber. So check it out.